Hello, Cancer, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. Thank you, Cancer, for joining me. It's always a pleasure to do your Tarot Reading. So, Cancer, let's have a look at the big energies for July 2024, and I will be covering career, money, and love. So let's have a look at those three areas. Anything that you need to know, any heads up, advice that I may pick up, let's begin. Excellent. So let's get started. As I shuffle these cards, I just want to make a quick announcement. I am open to do personal tarot readings. So if you have a burning question, you want a bit of guidance, or you're feeling stuck at the moment, I am open to do personal tarot readings where you can ask questions about love, career, and money. Um, so if you are interested, there will be a link down below in the description box. All you have to do is fill out the form, and that's it. <laughs> pretty simple. So that's all below. If you also want to learn tarot, if you really want to hone in your skills and learn how to read for yourself or for your loved ones, we do have a master tarot course that is 100% online. It is also self-placed and you can also download the workbooks and the videos, the demonstrations. Excellent. Take advantage if you really want to learn. Okay. Let's have a look. One more, please. Okay. Let's have a look at the cards, please. For love, what do we have? Two pentacles, the hermit, hmm. and also the wheel of fortune. So some of you are doing a lot of self-reflection. I feel like some of you sometimes want to be in a relationship, but sometimes you actually enjoy being single, being on your own, not having any stress, not having anyone in other words, cause any trouble, actually. But the two of pentacles, it's like you're deciding about something here. Sometimes this can mean, do I, do I want to be in a relationship? Or, or perhaps you're trying to choose between two other people and you're a little bit unsure about your feelings, however. A little bit conflicted with your decision making here. But we need to make a decision here in regards to love. Here we have the hermit. For some of you, are doing a lot of self-reflection. For some of you, you much rather be on your own. Just be on your own and think about what has worked out, what hasn't worked out, what was the feedback, what were, what were the lessons from past relationships. And even though, yes, this is a bit of a desert period, it's necessary to do a bit of self-reflection because I'm telling you right now, Cancer, you are a different person compared to six months ago compared to now. You've grown. You've, you're different. You don't take any BS from anybody. No way. And you are being recognized as the old wise sage. In other words, I'm not saying that you are old, but what I am saying is if someone does come up to you, you can pick up on those red flags straight away. Now, you also have the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune especially the word fortune, is related to good luck, being at the right place at the right time. So something here is definitely changing. From being single for too long, everything changes. So think of yourself as being at the bottom of the wheel. You're going to be on top now. Literally, the world is your oyster. So something is going to change. There's going to be a transition here from being alone to all of a sudden being in a relationship. I consider the wheel of fortune kind of like the uh, kind of like also the world. Um, it's literally massive good luck, but it is divine timing. It's all about divine timing. So it is destined. So so think about this is destined to happen, but it has to happen in its time, not in your time, it has to happen in that time. So what I mean by that, sometimes your spirit team are trying to move things, shape things. 
And it's just all about that divine timing, being at the right place at the right time. It was meant to be. This is good. These are good cards for love. Let's have a look at your career cards. Beautiful. We have the death card. Ten of cups. Nice. Wow. Eight of cups. These are excellent cards for career. I see rebirth. So you are going to do some sort of transformation. You have to remember with death, when death comes around, doesn't care whether you're ready or not, there needs to be change. There needs to be rebirth. So you are going to be shedding your old self and stepping out into Korea as a completely different person. Think of it as a caterpillar. When they go in the cocoon and they merge out as a butterfly, that's what's going to happen here. Ten of Cups, you're going to feel that emotional fulfillment. And people are going to see and reward you for all your hard work. What I'm seeing here that you're very skillful, Cancer. You have a skill, a talent. There's something that you're very, very good at, and you will be rewarded quite generously. You're going to get paid exactly what you are owed. In fact, I would not be surprised if you get paid even more. Let's have a look at your money cards. Beautiful. We have the sun. You're making a decision about something. Okay, we also have the Ten of Swords. I'm going to say this already. We do have the Sun, which is beautiful. It does lessen the blow of any challenging cards, especially the Ten of Swords. However, there's something that you're going to do with your money, but you're going to regret it with the Ten of Swords because the Ten of Swords can mean you've hit rock bottom, you feel a little bit stabbed in the back, you feel that something's coming crashing down. So I would actually already give you a heads up. Be careful how you handle your money because you're making a choice here. You're making a decision, but it's not going to give you the results that you really, really want. But let's find out what it is. So I'm going to grab the Tarot of Al, different deck, and let's find out. Let's go a little bit further and deeper into this reading. So what else does Cancer need to know in regards to the big energies for July 2024, please. What else does Cancer need to know, please? For July 2024, regarding love, career, and money, what are the heads up, the advice, anything that Cancer needs to know, please? Anything at all? What else does Cancer need to know, please, in regards to this tarot reading? And a one, and a two, and a you know what to do. The Two of Pentacles. What can you tell me about the Two of Pentacles? The Five of Wands. Yeah, see, I can see why you're retreating, why you want to be on your own. Because. There's arguments. Nobody's getting along here. Everybody's fighting. In fact, there's more than two people fighting. There's actually five people. There may be a situation for some of you watching this where in-laws are causing trouble. There'll be co-workers, friends, cousins. And you're like, you know what? Why am I in this situation? What am I getting out of it? Like seriously, it's not causing you any happiness. If anything, it's causing a bit of stress. It's causing toxic energy. And I feel like there's a lot of blame. There's a lot of finger pointing happening here. And you feel you're contemplating. It's like, you know what? I can just leave. Why am I even staying here? That's why you've, we've got the juggling act here with the two of pentacles. The hermit. Yeah. The five of swords. Now, so look at this. Five of wands also with the five of swords so yes these are like these are challenging cards i would say they're very close to the tower the five of swords yes something has to give i see an abrupt separation an abrupt breakup and i see you cancer you're much rather be on your own because on your own you feel more calm you don't have the drama you don't have all that trouble 
that 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 just that draining energy this is necessary because what i'm also picking up with the five of swords you've been dealing with someone that's my way or the highway everything i say goes your ideas your opinion doesn't matter that's what i'm picking up so it's someone perhaps even a little bit arrogant selfish did not care about your side of your opinion did not care anything that you had to say no you were just like the other person in the relationship. That's what I'm picking up. This person, no. You know what the thing is? I'm picking up this person. They don't know what they have until it's gone. That's the thing, cancer. Because cancer, when it comes to relationship, you're quite a catch. You're very homely. You're nurturing. You're caring. This person, I don't know. They don't know what they've lost. What about the wheel of fortune, please? You're you're moving on. Even though you have the hanged man, there's going to be a period, especially with the hermit, where you're feeling that you're not going anywhere in your life. Don't worry. You will. This is going to change everything. You're going to get an epiphany. You're going to get an idea. You're going to be a bit of a risk taker. There's something that you're going to do to completely change your life that's going to bring happiness and love to you. So if you have a nudge, an intuition, an idea to do something, yes, go for it. Because this, Trust me, this is not working out, but this will. So something that you're going to do is going to bring you absolutely good luck. Rebirth, the death card. We also have the lovers. There may be a, an, uh, an opportunity to go into partnership with someone. Business, side hustle, something that involves the ultimate business partner. And this is good. Gemini energy, Cancer and sorry, Cancer and Gemini do work very, very well together as a team. The Ten of Cups. What can you tell me about the? Look at this. Oh, this is so weird. I said Gemini. Now we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is actually represented with Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Butterflies represents transition, just like rebirth. You're going to go through a huge change, a transition, and something that brings emotional fulfillment. It's change. I see a lot of change. Change here. There's change here, definitely. Rebirth here. Communication will be super important. So make sure you speak with confidence. You speak like, like, like in other words, imagine if you had to give a speech to a crowd of a hundred thousand people, how would you deliver that speech and make sure that everyone pays attention? This is what's happening here. The words that you carry out, the words that you speak will be super important. I would definitely listen to this person that's come through. And again, this person may be someone in a high position, someone that you may know. They may be a politician someone in the military, a lawyer, someone, yeah, listen to them. They're going to give you ideas for Korea. The Eight of Pentacles, oh, celebrations. Three of Cups, your hard work will be definitely rewarded. There's going to be a reason to celebrate, a reason to really like seriously get up. It's like, you know what? I deserve a cheers. I deserve this for all my hard work. So your hard work is definitely going to pay off cancer. The sun for money. Now we have the world. You're closing a chapter and like, in other words, you're coming completely full circle and you're closing that chapter and you're restarting the, all the major arcanas again. This is good. The world is also a travel card. It's excellent for money. In other words, the world is your oyster. You want more money? Yes, go for it. You're getting blessings here. So whatever's happening, what's happening here above will reward you with money. Now you're going to make a decision here with the two of wands. What decisions are you making? Okay, there's something of the unknown here. We don't know about this yet. The high priestess is all about mysteries, secrets. And you're going to make a decision about that. However, whatever decision you're going to do, it's also bringing money loss with the five of pentacles. 
Here's the heads up, Cancer. Before you make a decision, listen to your intuition. Just listen. Get a second opinion. Don't sign anything. Get everything reviewed. Because look at the Five of Pentacles. There's money lost there. The Ten of Swords. The Hermit has come out twice now. The Hermit here and here. Whatever's going to happen here, remember, use your wisdom that you have gained all the way up here before you do anything. I have a feeling there is something here that you want to do, that you want to somehow, we don't know what it is. That's the thing. We have the high priestess. And it may cause a bit of a, a bit of a heartbreak in terms of money. What I would definitely do, just listen to your intuition. Just listen. Do not be impulsive. Take things step by step. What else can you tell me, please? Okay, there's some sort of investment. I have a question for you, Cancer. Are you thinking of doing some sort of investment? Because before you do any sort any sort of investment, wait. Educate yourself before you do it. Educate yourself. Make sure you you know everything from back to front. You've read all the clauses. I don't know why. I am picking up people that are doing technical analysis. For those who are doing technical analysis, just do not risk more than what you have, please. I'm picking that up. People that do trading in the market, forex, stocks, be responsible, be disciplined because you can avoid all of this. So be very disciplined. This requires a lot of skill and discipline here. It's already giving you a heads up here. So do not sign anything. Just make sure everything is reviewed. Do, do not make any impulsive decisions here. Please take your time to do this. Just giving you a heads up, that's all, because you can avoid this. Excellent. So thank you so much, Cancer, for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic month. You are going to have, you've got, an, an, just to do a quick recap here, with love, do not worry. The endings may occur, separations, whatever it is. You're going to be on top of your wheel. It's going to be literally luck. And don't worry, this person, it's their loss. You're not the problem, Cancer. Your person's the problem. I'm already picking that up. Jobs, career, fantastic. There's going to be great opportunities, even to go into partnership. I would definitely listen to this person. There's going to be a reason to celebrate. In terms of money, be careful how you handle your money. Even if there is someone that handles your money, make sure you know exactly where every penny is going. Just make sure. There may be, for example, unexpected expenses, things that break down. That's all. And it can feel like you've hit rock bottom, but it's okay. You can, you will get past it. You will be fine. Thank you so much, Cancer, once more. I wish you a beautiful day. Power to you. And I hope you have an amazing month. See you soon.